A former standout football player is speaking out tonight after suing the University of Oregon, former coaches, and the NCAA for injuries he sustained during intense workouts. Doug Brenner and two other teammates were hospitalized after workouts under former head coach Willie Taggart. Fox 12's Brian McMillan spoke with Brenner today and has a look at why he is suing for more than $11 million, Brian. Well, Brenner says his life expectancy is now 10 years shorter and his kidneys will never be the same after suffering from a serious condition called rhabdomyolysis, also called rhabdo, causing his muscles to break down and enter his bloodstream. My body's ruined. Uh, my kidneys are damaged. I, there might be, uh, my life might be shorter because of this. In January 2017, Doug Brenner and the rest of the Oregon Ducks football team were coming off a losing season with no bowl game. Willie Taggart was just hired along with strength and conditioning coach Irlay Oderende. When we got there for the first workout, they had trash cans lining the balcony for us to throw up in. Brenner says in their first practices back from break, Taggart was trying to find the bad apples of the team and force them out by making them quit. In Taggart's own words, he said that he was trying to find the snakes in the grass and cut their heads off. If one guy faltered, if one guy threw up, if one guy passed out, everybody else had to do more drills. So there was tremendous internal pressure to uh, not give up. Brenner says on the first day, a player lost consciousness. And on the second... Instead of stopping the workouts, they brought oxygen tanks in case guys passed out. Brenner says the intense workouts continued for several days in a row. We did hundreds and hundreds of up-downs and push-ups over a period of three or four days. He was the captain on the team. If I would have stopped... Um, it would have had major implications. I probably wouldn't have played again. Uh, I mean, they were trying to see who was going to quit. But he says his body finally gave out. On my last day of the workouts, I remember chopping my feet while we were doing up-downs, and I remember losing vision, uh, getting black, and I'm like drooling on myself, and, excuse me. In the coming hours and days, Brenner says his condition got worse. My pee was black, looked like coffee. My arms were so big and swollen, I couldn't take my own shirt off. I couldn't even reach my face to eat. Brenner and two other teammates ended up in the hospital. My body was dying. Um, I had so much dead muscles in my bloodstream that it was clogging my kidneys. Brenner says those workouts caused permanent damage to his kidneys and he's facing a loss of life expectancy in the range of 10 years. He is suing for $11.5 million and wants NCAA rules changed to hold universities and coaches accountable so this doesn't happen to any more student athletes. Coach Taggart failed me. Coach O failed me. The University of Oregon failed me by turning a blind eye to it. And I think the NCAA failed me and is failing all of the other student athletes by not having some regulations in place to prevent this. In the season after those workouts, Brenner went on to play for the 2017 season. He says he wanted to be a part of the team. That season, he ended up sidelined with a hip injury in October. Despite all of this, he says he still loves the UVO and completed his master's degree just a few months ago. He just wants things to change. University of Oregon would not comment specifically about the suit, but issued a statement saying in part, quote, the well-being and safety of our students are our top priorities at the University of Oregon. Reporting live, Brian McMillan, Fox 12 Oregon. And we did try contacting Florida State Athletics Department for comment from Willie Taggart and Irle Oderende about this very case. Now, so far, we have not heard back from them. And after Brenner's hospitalization, Oderende was suspended for a month without pay, you may recall, and the university said all workouts would be modified moving forward. Taggart also issued an apology to the players, university, students, and fans, saying that he held himself responsible for all football-related activities. It was nothing malicious that was going on there, you know. We, we and th I've never been a part of anything like that where we break kids down and, and try to hurt kids. You know, we don't operate that way. Anyone that know me know that I'm all about my players and doing what's right for our players. We we'll never do anything to hurt our players. We will let you know if there is a settlement or if this case moves forward.